Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 to 15. Exodus chapter 14, from verse 13 through verse 15. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show unto you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, yes, I see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Verse 15, And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cry thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Today, we are dealing with that statement, go forward. But before we move on, we will have to pray. Because whenever the Almighty God speaks into a life, Whenever he addresses a nation, wherever and whenever a pronouncement is made towards a family to move forward, suddenly you are going to discover that all the obstacles in the way of such a fellow will disappear. The rest could not hinder them when the Almighty God spoke to their life to move forward. I want you to Bless the name of the Lord this hour. Bless him for the way he has been addressing your life, your destiny, your family, every aspect of your life, the way the Lord himself has released the power, has released the grace, has released the anointing, has released the enablement for you to move forward. And that's the reason why you have discovered it in your life. That by special grace, you have been moving forward. Bless the name of the Lord for that. Magnify him. Glorify him. Honor him this time. 
Let his name be magnified. Let his name be glorified. In the Lord who speaks, and it is done. Glorify him for the way he's been speaking to the affairs of your lives. Magnify him. Glorify him. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. He told their leader, tell them to move forward. We want to call upon the name of the Lord for our nations, for our continents, wherever you are. Oh Lord, you release your word into all our nations. Let our nation begin to move forward in every aspect. Let them begin to move forward. Whatever be the hindrance that are not allowed our nation to move forward, remove today in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for your nation. And don't forget your family. Don't forget your children. Don't forget your husband. Don't forget your wife. Don't forget your career. Almighty God, command our destiny to move forward. Release that power. Oh God, so that we can begin to make progress in life. Yes, Lord. Speak to our nation to make progress. Speak into our family, oh God, to move forward. Release your word. Almighty God, release your word. King of glory, release your word into our life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, you are the man of war. Your power and your right forever and ever. Oh, praise His holy name. The God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, you are the man of war. Your power and your right forever and ever. Oh, praise His holy name. Our eternal Father, one of the things you've done in our lives is that you've kept us alive. Because if you have not commanded our life to move on in the land of the living, we cannot be alive today. We want to say thank you for your grace that has kept us alive. Thank you for your favor that has preserved our lives. Thank you for your loving kindness that has lifted us up. We want to say thank you. Daddy God wants to say thank you. Thank you for our nations. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our kindreds. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for everything concerning our life that I received your commandment to make progress. We bless your holy name. Please, Daddy, accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, as you speak into the life of all of us, let there be progress in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Any form of stagnation, let it be totally cancelled in our lives today in the name of Jesus. And at the end of it all, let it be said truly, the Lord has met with his people. Thank you, Father, for having answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. want to use this time again to thank our Father and the Lord, our dear Daddy Gio, for all the prayers that our Father and the Lord have been released upon this program, the prayer in. Testimonies that we received here, they are all the indication, they are the witnessing to prove that somebody somewhere have been calling upon the Lord for this particular program. We want to thank our mommy, Mommy G also, for her prayers. To 
let our parents know that God is doing marvelous things in their particular prayer ring by the way God has been answering their prayers. I want to just read a few testimonies that we had recently. On Saturday, 23rd of October, 2021, Ololade from United Kingdom testified, I read, my 41 years old brother had stage four cancer of the lungs that has spread to his liver, spine, etc. Doctors said there is nothing medical science could do for him that is to go and put his affairs together. They were giving him palliative treatment. Then he became paralyzed. I then resorted to God in raising the prayer in his case before God. This miracle working God of prayer intervened and healed my brother. As of today, cancer is in remission. His spine has healed. Liver, okay. Lungs, okay. No longer paralyzed. Doctors are amazed. They told him it was not meant to walk again, but God did it. Let me give another uh, test fire who happened to be Sister Dupe from Nigeria. Sister Dupe testified, I've been selling food by the roadside for three years. And now I raise a prayer request for permanent place. Last Saturday, November 6th, God of RUCCG prayer answered my prayer. I opened my beautiful canteen. Help me to shout a thunderous hallelujah. Permit me to read one or two more. Olufumilayo from Nigeria. I came, I mean, I come to thank God, who is a great provider. On Saturday, 38th of October, I had to borrow money to buy essential drugs that I needed. On Sunday, 31st, I had to phone around for food to feed my family. No one could help. I called upon the law. Then came Monday 1st and 2nd November. I received a lot of millions. I could, it could only be God that can supply the needs in such a way. City from United Kingdom also testifies. I thank the Lord for delivering my 22 years old niece from drugs and substance abuse. As a result of the effect of the drugs, she dropped out of law school and ended up in the rehabilitation center. I lifted a case to the God of RCG prayer reign, and he delivered her. All thanks and glory to God. She is now back home and free from substance use. Praise the Lord. This happened to be testimonies. And one of those testimonies, at least 10 testimonies every day. And this God has been faithful, ranging from healing our physical body to healing our spiritual life to providing for our physical needs and so on and so forth. And that is why I know today that one more time, by the time he has commanded our life to move forward, we begin to move forward in Jesus' name. Where we have read the account of that Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 to 15, you discover how Moses had already been acting by faith, how he had been taking the step of faith, how he had been telling the people, my people, fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. How he had been telling them 
this God will show you his miracles today. And the problem that you see today, you will see them no more forever. He told them right there that the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall owe thy peace. That is the reason why in verse 14, the Almighty God spoke to him. You have already, I mean, you are already standing on the solid rock. Your faith has been built. You have all what it takes to move on. Therefore, don't continue to pray again. I've answered your prayer. That is the meaning of why are you crying unto me? I've answered your prayer. Now tell the people to move forward. There is something called reward. Something giving recognition of the service rendered. Or effort someone has put into a particular thing. Or achievement that someone has achieved. And by the time we get to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. The Bible said, this God has a way of rewarding the people that diligently seek him. Because the Bible says it's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So when the Almighty God spoke to Moses, let the people move forward. God could be quoted as saying, number one, you have gotten the right perspective of me. Therefore now, act in that revelation. And God is speaking to somebody here today. You've exercised faith in me. You have decided to follow my principles. You've applied all that I've told you. And in first, Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, Second Corinthians 4, 13, listen to what the Bible says. We have seen the same spirit of faith According as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken, and therefore we believe, and therefore we speak. The people said they believed, and that's the reason why they spoke. We followed their truth. We stood upon the same rock, and right there we spoke also. And today we are speaking again. In other words, just the way the Almighty God helped them. The way the Almighty God sustained them. The way the Almighty God answered them. The way the Almighty God proved himself in their life. Simply because they believed and that is the reason why they spoke. So also, we believe and therefore we speak. And that is what we want to do now. I want you to stand wherever you are. Except you are right there in your offices. But if you are at home, or where you can stand wherever you are, and pray this prayer with all your heart. Say, O oh Lord, I believe that God is greater than obstacles before me. Therefore, obstacles... You are taken away in the name of Jesus. You are removed right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, I am moving forward. Pray that prayer. The people believed and they spoke. Today, we believe and that we are, we are speaking. Speak the word. Say, Lord, I believe that you are greater than my obstacles. There's no mountain before me that is higher than you are. Almighty God, therefore, in your name, I speak to all the obstacles before me. Get out of my way. I am moving forward. I believe in the name of Jesus. I'm moving forward. Loud and clear, I speak. I say, I believe that my God is God of salvation. Therefore, Satan, no power, no weapon that you fashion against me will prosper. And all your representatives, they will fail. I hereby decree, because I believe I'm moving on. You cannot hinder me. You cannot hinder my destiny. You cannot hinder my future. You cannot bury me. 
I am moving on. I believe. Simply because my God is God of salvation. I believe. Make that particular pronouncement. We believe that the reason why we are speaking. Loud and clear, say, Lord, I believe that my God is the Lord of hosts. And since he has never lost a war, I speak therefore that I will not die in these battles. I say I will not die in these battles. I believe that I'm moving on, that this sickness will not kill me. This sorrow will not see my end in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe. I believe. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And I join my faith with your faith. Just the way you've made those pronouncements. Because you believe the law. I hereby decree. Just the way those people believed the law. And they spoke. And all what they asked God to do, the Almighty God did it for them. In the same way, as you have spoke, I mean, spoken right now. I decree and I declare all that you have asked the Lord, receive in Jesus' name and let the name of the Lord be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So when the Almighty God told Moses, go forward, God could be quoted as saying, Moses, you've trusted me that I am alive and active. Therefore, today, I will act on your behalf. You have trusted me that I'm alive and I'm active. I'm still performing my signs and wonders and miracles. For this reason, therefore, I will act on your behalf. That's the reason why I told Moses, tell the people to move forward. In Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 to 14, Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 to 14. We discover here the man Joshua was fulfilling his destiny. The reason why he had been sent into this world. He was right there carrying out that particular assignment the Almighty God had committed to his end. But then, he had not yet finished, and he was about to say, the day was about to disappear, and he would not be able to see any longer. What did he do? Say, son, stand there. You are not permitted to sit now. Mom, stay there. You are not permitted to go there now. And the Lord God answered him, and the Bible refused to us. In verse 14, or that Joshua chapter 10, Joshua chapter 10, verse 14, the Bible says, And there was no day like that day before it or after it, that the Lord echoed unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Ah, today, the Lord will fight for you. Today, the Lord will attend to you. I want you to pray with all your heart. Wherever you are, lift up your hand and your voices. Say, Lord, like Joshua did, I believe that you are alive and active, that you will arise and fight for me. Arise and fight for me. Therefore, I cannot be defeated. I cannot be cast down. I am moving forward in Jesus' name. I believe, Lord, that you are right for me in this situation. If you know the situation you are passing through. Mention the name of that situation now. And say, Lord, you will arise for me. Just the way you arose for Joshua and the people in the days of Joshua. Arise for me today. I believe that this particular situation will not defeat me. I cannot be defeated. I cannot be cast down in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 
loud and clear pray. Say, as in the day of Joshua, according to Isaiah chapter 16, verse 20. Son, you will not go down. My son, you will not go down. My mom, you will not withdraw yourself. The Lord God has become your everlasting light. And the days of your failure has ended. In the mighty name of Jesus, the days of your failure, they've ended today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am going forward. I am going forward. Pray that prayer. Command your moon. Your moon, you are not permitted to set. You will not set. You will not set until I fulfill my destiny. My moon, my son, you will not set. In the name of Jesus, I will not witness a sunset upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for this reason, therefore, I declare and I declare that all the days of my failure, they've ended today. I'm going forward. I am going forward. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I join my faith with your faith. And I declare and I declare right now. That in the name that is above all other names, Jesus. Because you've trusted him. Because you know he's alive and active. Therefore, he will act on your behalf. Just the way he acted. On behalf of Joshua. This God will act on your behalf. Your moon will not go down. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say your son will not go down. Your moon will not withdraw itself. The Lord God will be your everlasting light. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Lord God, hear your amen louder. Amen and amen. When the Lord spoke to Moses to go forward, number three, God could be quoted as saying, Moses, you've trusted me that the problems around you today will be history tomorrow. Therefore, you have my permission to laugh last. Therefore, go forward. You know that all the problems around you, they are nothing when they are presented before the Almighty God. God could be quoted at telling Moses, therefore, you are permitted to move forward. In Psalm 30, verse 5, Psalm 30, verse 5, the Bible says, Weeping men joy for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I don't know the problems around you. I don't know how long they have been there. But God is looking for something in your life today to trust him that is bigger and higher than all the problems put together. And that when the almighty God is permitted to undo your problems, Suddenly, you are going to discover that your story right now will become glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer. And let the prayer be rendered with all your heart. Lift up your hands and begin to pray. Say loud and clear. It happened to Daniel. It's night where the lion turned today. Lord, I trust you that my night with lions ends today. I am coming out of the lion den. I am moving forward. Pray that prayer. Many, many a day, the experience could be lacking to be in the lion's den. But just the way the Almighty God turned the night of Daniel today in a tinkle of an eye, the same God is saying it today. You are coming out of that lion's den in the mighty name of Jesus. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are moving forward. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Loud and clear, say, O oh Lord, the case was the same with the three Hebrews. Their night with burning fire turned to the day of promotion. Hey, in the name of Jesus, my moment with fire will soon be over. I will triumph. I will be moving forward. I will move forward. Pray that prayer. 
They throw Hebrews. We are throwing to the furnace. But instead of them being burned, the Lord God himself made their night turn to become their day of promotion. I'm trusting God today. Your moment of promotion has come. Your time of promotion has come. That fire will not consume you. That fire will not burn you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the name of the Lord be glorified. Pray, pray, pray with all your heart. The case with three Hebrews, either they are now eternal today, and that day will be your promotion. Almighty God, in the same way, let my night turn today, O God, in the name of Jesus. Loud and clear, I pray that it happened too in the life of Anna. A night of barrenness will turn today in the name of Jesus. My night of barrenness is over. I put my trust in the Lord. I will be fruitful. Today, I am leaving barrenness behind me. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Like Anna, my dear barrenness is over. I'm coming out of barrenness. I'm leaving barrenness behind me. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. It is time to move forward. You are moving forward. You are leaving barrenness behind you. In the mighty name of Jesus, either the physical or the spiritual, on your career, on your business, on your family life, you are leaving barrenness behind you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, your moment of barrenness is over. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer with all your heart. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I hereby decree into your life that the moment of sorrow in your life is over. The moment of pain in your life is over. Whatever has been the agent of sorrow in your life, the appointment is hereby terminated. In the mighty name of Jesus, your day of joy will arrive. And like Daniel, you are coming out of that lion's day. Like the three Hebrews, you are coming out of that furnace. Like Anna, you are coming out of that barrenness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's move on. When the Lord spoke to Moses, go forward. God could be quoted as saying, Moses, you've seen me as a man of war. And since I have never lost any war, you are destined to win. Ah, Matere Kasanta Yapuro Kisinya. God is speaking to somebody here today. Immediately, you've discovered me. Immediately, you've taken notice of me. Immediately, you see me as a man of war. And since I've never lost any war, you are destined to win. And by the special grace of God, you will win in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at Isaiah chapter 31 verse 3. Isaiah chapter 31, verse 3 says, Now the Gittians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord stretched out his hand, both he who air will fall, and he who is air will fall down, they all will perish together. You see, God is now saying, uh, Don't mind all of them. They are men, they are not God. Right there, they are boasting, they are roaring, they are terrorizing your life. Say, so God, say, don't mind them. They are men, they are not God. The horses they use, what is the meaning of horses here? Whatever has been hating them, whatever has been making them to move fast, trying to take your life, their horses are fled, they are not spirit. So when the Lord arises, when the Lord stretched forth his hand, he said the one that is sent and the one that sent him, they, both of them will fall together. They will perish together. That is the Lord that we are talking about. So I call upon the Lord now. All what you need to do, O oh God, is to arise. Because the Bible says, whenever you arise, all my enemies will scatter. Arise, O oh God. 
All the enemies, the one that I see, those that are unseen, those who are at the forefront, and the one behind them, you have told me today, you will finish all of them together. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my marriage. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my career. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my promotion. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my establishment. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my family. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my nation. Arrive for me, O oh God, concerning my business. Arrive for me. All the enemies of my destiny are alive. Let all love them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. Honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, I join my faith with your faith. And in the name that is above every other name, Jesus. Because you will find this God as a man of war. The one who fights. And the enemies will be scattered. This God you've trusted. This God you've come to meet. This living God you have put your hand to will fight for you today. In the name of Jesus. Those people said they've captured you. Those people said they've already it in your hand. The Bible says, underneath is a fallacy hand. And by the time the fallacy that carry you up, it will now say, begin to destroy them. I decree into your life, just the way the Lord spoke to the people of Israel, through the mouth of Moses. The enemies that you see today, you will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, assignment I'm about to do is the assignment that the Almighty God sent Moses to perform that day. Because the world go forward, it's a defined declaration. It's a defined pronouncement. And that is what we are about to do right now to make certain pronouncements, to make certain uh, declarations into your life. And after today, your life will begin to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. In number chapter 23, verse 20. Numbers 23, verse 20. There the Bible says, Behold, I have received commandment to bless. This is what is about to happen in a moment from now. I've received a commandment to bless. But before that time, I want you to call upon the Lord. What exactly you want the Lord to do for you today? If you can kneel down, you can go on your knee. Just ask him right away. What is that thing you want the Lord to do for you today? What have you been crying unto God about? What is that particular situation in your life that you want the Almighty God to handle? Begin to call upon Him right now. I'm giving you a minute or two. Remember how you have been struggling in one aspect of life or the other. You rem remember your battles that you cannot even tell others. Commit all those things to God right now. Thank you, Maseke Reba Pande Kassandia. Oh, ya kate te re Kassandia. Preka papande ke se te re kosunde karaba kosunde. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Honor be to God. Adoration be to God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Before I make the pronouncement or the declaration, I don't want anyone watching this program to miss out. Because the Lord God is the one who answers prayers. That is the reason why 
I want you to surrender your life to him first before we make all the pronouncements. So if you are right there watching on this Dove television or on many other, all other platforms, social platforms available, and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do that one today. He loves you. He, de he has decided that your life will begin to move forward. I want you to ask yourself a question. Since you have been trying on your own, how far have you been able to go? Allow him, therefore, to speak into your life. And suddenly you are going to see a turning point, a turning around for the better. So wherever you are, surrender your life to Jesus today. And it's ready to turn your life around for the better. Bow your head. Call upon him. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to dominate your life. And he's ready to do that. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And I join my faith with your faith right away. That the blood of Jesus will cleanse all your sins away in the name of Jesus. That the blood of Jesus will speak on your behalf in the name of Jesus. That your name will be written in the book of life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. If you have done that one, after this particular program, all the Contact addresses will be displayed on the screen. Make sure you contact us. And by the special grace of God, we get in touch with you. To God be the glory. Now, wherever you are, lift up your two hands to receive. Father, you've directed me today to make this pronouncement into the life of all who are right there on this platform. And once you have sent your word, your word is settled forever. Thank you, Father God. As I speak into their life today, according to your promise, that the answer by fire. In the name of Jesus. I start by speaking to your life right away. That from today onward, you begin to move forward. In the name of Jesus. From this moment onward, what is known as stagnation in your life is hereby cancelled. In the mighty name of Jesus. In your academics, move forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. In your careers, move forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. In your marital life, begin to move forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the past, you dreamed a dream. And it appears if the dream has been shattered, so to say. In fulfillment of those glorious dream in your life, begin to move forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. Perhaps your roles seem to have been blocked. You don't even know what could have been responsible for the blockage of the road. I command your way to be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, begin to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Perhaps you see a mountain standing before you and all this while you don't know what to do. Oh God of heaven, who brought down the wall of Jericho before the people of Israel, this same God will tackle all the obstacles before you and they will all disappear today in the name of Jesus. Are you right there? You take a wrong step in the past. It was indeed a wrong step. And the repercussion has come. Now trying to militate against your life. Now that you have surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, I command your life to move forward in the name of Jesus. 
Because the Bible said they are there for no more condemnation. For them that are Christ Jesus. Those who walk not after the flesh, but they walk after the spirit. Now that you are in the Lord Jesus Christ, every curse upon you is cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Because before now, you've decided to do something. But on the way, that thing, your God talked. Ah! I decree that whatever you have laid your hand on, that is talked. Begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. And let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the power of the Lord be manifested. I declare and I declare in your life. You are stopped. Concerning that project you are embarking on. Oh God. You got to a particular stage. Everything is confused. Concerning that project. Begin to move forward in the name of Jesus. And let the name of the Lord be glorified. Perhaps you are in a dark moment. Totally confused. Like the, white, like the wise man who entered the King Herod Palace and the star that had been guiding them disappeared and their heart was filled with sorrow. But then they came out and the star appeared again and they began to move forward. I command your life from that particular confusing situation where you are that apparently the star that had been guiding you had disappeared. Come out! I move forward in the name of Jesus. Everyone that needs a restoration, be restored today. And let the name of the Lord be glorified. And right here, I command our nations to move forward. Our continent to move forward. Our destiny to move forward. So shall it be. And it is done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Loud and clear with your hand raising up. Say, I am going forward. I am moving forward. No more obstacles. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen.